एन एजुकेशनल वीडियो बाय पतंजलि ऋषिकुल प्रयागराज क्लास फाइव सब्जेक्ट वैल्यू एजुकेशन टॉपिक रेजिलियंस गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड स्टडिंग रेगुलरली चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड what is resilience and how do you become resilient resilience is the ability to keep picking yourself up after failure and continue trying every athlete musician academic actor singer entrepreneur and just about anyone who has achieved something in life has developed resilience because they wouldn't be where they are now if they had given up at the first stumbling block We all need to develop resilience when working towards a goal. But how do we do it? Here are a few simple steps. Number 1. Keep doing the fail, learn and try harder sequence. Let's say you want to learn to ice skate. So you put those skates on and step out onto the ice. That's you trying this new thing. Two steps in and whoop, you fall. That's you failing. You get up and take two more steps and maybe even manage a third step before falling again. That's you learning from your failure. You get up and do it again. That's you trying harder. So, try, fail, learn and try harder. Number 2. Fail fast and fail often. Failure is only truly failure if you learn nothing from the experience. Otherwise, it's learning, which is why it's good to fail because failure is inevitable. It's a matter of when, not if. And you're learning something new every time you fail. So, if you fail 100 times, you would have learned 100 new things. How cool is that? Number 3. Don't be afraid to push your comfort zone. We all have things we are afraid of, like public speaking, making new friends or trying new things. This fear is our mind's way of protecting us from the unknown. So, every time we're faced with doing something that we know would be good for us, but we don't want to, we make up excuses for not doing it. But If we were to push through the fear and the discomfort and still do it anyway, we'd realize most of the time that it wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. So the next time, we wouldn't be as fearful to try that same thing. Basically, if you imagine your comfort zone like a circle around you, every time you do something scary to push that comfort zone, you make it bigger. which means you have widened the space of things you can do without feeling fear so the more you put yourself out there and do scary things the more freedom from fear you have number 4 good support failing and doing things that make you nervous results in a lot of discomfort it's no fun which is why you need good support when you're pushing your limits and failing and picking yourself up Make sure that you stay connected to your parents, siblings, family, friends, mentors and teachers. Talk to people who understand and are there to give you love and support whenever you need it. Number 5. Be mindful. When we don't get what we want but fail instead, it's very easy to give into negative thoughts in our mind. Thoughts like you'll never do it or How could you ever do this? Instead of getting carried away with them, observe them. They're just thoughts. Thoughts don't make a situation real. So just breathe and observe those thoughts. Number 6. Take time for yourself every day. Talk to yourself and be kind to yourself. Tell yourself, "It's okay, me. You're doing great. Keep at it and don't give up. You're doing so well." I love you me. And that's it. So there you go. 6 steps to building resilience. Let's recap. Number 1. Try, 
fail, learn, and try harder. Number two, fail fast and fail often. Number three, keep pushing your comfort zone no matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel. Number four, surround yourself with people who love you and want the best for you. Number five, be mindful and observe your negative thoughts. And number six, be kind to yourself and love yourself. Thank you, children. God bless you all. Stay home. Stay safe.